Today we're going to talk about the benefits of lactobacillus. Okay, what is lactobacillus? It's a common microbe that lives inside your body and around your body. It's a type of flora and part of the microbiome, which is all your friendly bacteria, and you have trillions of these microbes. And there's different strains. There's like f at least 50 different strains. And in your gut, by the way, you also have friendly yeast, you have friendly fungus um, that help you. So a long time ago, we made an arrangement with these microbes. Uh, they wanted to have a place to live, okay, in our bodies. And we wanted something in exchange. So somehow we made some arrangements. So we wanted to, uh, them to make vitamins for us, B vitamins, vitamin K. Um, we also wanted them to protect us against pathogens, unfriendly microbes. Okay, that's part of increasing the immune system. Uh, we also wanted them to help decrease inflammation and also um, help us deal with this fiber that we can't digest. So they have the ability to convert fiber into a type of fat, small chain fatty acid. Um, and one of those um, fatty acids is called butyrate, which is similar to um, a ketone. And it actually has properties of helping us with our blood sugars. Um, it's even anti-cancer, so it's pretty cool. So they give us all this stuff. We give them a place to live. And so it's a perfect symbiotic relationship where we can coexist versus like a parasite, which will just take everything from you and it doesn't give you anything back. So lactobacillus can uh, help you in many different ways. It's used to help IBS, a child with uh, colic, Intestinal inflammation, this is the big one. Uh, gastritis and stomach pain. Hay fever, which is sinus issues. Allergies in general. Candida. Liver disease. Gallbladder problems. These microbes actually make, it's called a secondary bile. So your liver makes bile and your microbes can make bile too. Interesting. So by producing enough bile down here, it actually kind of takes the stress off the liver as well. Constipation. And I forgot, diarrhea as well, especially if you've taken antibiotics. Arthritis, C. diff, vaginal yeast infections, UTIs, and quite a few other things. Now, where can you get it? You can get it from fermented dairy products, a certain lactobacillus in yogurt, and kefir, but sometimes those have too much sugar. Sometimes people are uh, lactose intolerant. Sometimes they have allergies to the protein in milk. And there's also non-dairy uh, probiotics in lactobacillus, and you can get them from fermented vegetables like sauerkraut, for example, which has a ton of vitamin C, or kimchi, which is like cabbage and pepper and garlic and other spices that are really good for sinus problems. And then you have other fermented vegetables like maybe pickles, and there's a, quite a few different vegetables that are fermented that can help you. Now, as far as a really good non-dairy uh, probiotic, and I'm not biased, uh, of my own probiotic called Friendly Bacteria Probiotic, but I'd like to share a little bit about what's in here. There's 12 strains, including several strains of lactobacillus. But what's unique about this is it's a kind of a consortia, which is a bunch of individual microbes that live together in a small ecosystem, all symbiotic. So compared to other probiotic products, they will grow each individual microbe separately and then combine them. With this one, they're all grown together. And some really cool advantages to that is they're stronger, they're more resilient, and they're very stable at very wide temperatures and pH. And even if it's heated, you like you left it out in some warmer weather, it doesn't seem to bother these microbes. And also, uh, these microbes can survive the stomach pH, which is very, very acidic. So they're very, very resilient and tough. So if you're going to take this, you take like a half capsule right before bed. I like to put it in a little bit of water, slug it down, and go right to bed. And then the next day, you see how you feel. And then you can go up to a full cap. Now, some people that have a lot of allergies and sen sensitivities they might take a whole cap and they can have like an immune reaction, which is usually fatigue. So they're just going to notice they're going to wake up and feel like, wow, I really slept a lot longer than I normally sleep. That just means that it's creating a little immune reaction 
It's rare, but I'm just pointing it out is that can happen with certain individuals, in which case you just take a little bit less and then you build up over a period of time to one cap a day. But most people can handle one cap a day. And I will make one last point. I'm not making any claims. This is going to treat any of these diseases over here. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.